All right, so we've been in the RV for, I don't know, seven, eight months now, and we're realizing there's some things that we want to change up. So Ikea, here we come. We think we know what we want to get, Woo! but uh, yeah, we're going to check it out one more time. Just make sure. Yeah, we saw our friends have this in their RV. Actually, a bunch of people messaged us the last time we were here and said, we have that. And so we're going to go check it again, make sure it's what we want. And if it is, we might get two of them. Okay, and whenever we go to Ikea, we have to eat something, even if we're not hungry. <laughs> Let's do veggie dogs. I think we're gonna do six of them. Two, three, four, five. You know, it's funny, everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm over here vlogging in the middle of Ikea. All right, here we go, guys. Six hot dogs for a dollar each. Not a bad deal. Hot veggie dogs. dogs. You like six, veggie dogs? Yes, six dogs for six dollars. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now that we are fueled up, we are ready to go take on the maze of Ikea. Have you ever, guys ever got lost in Ikea? I know I have. Okay guys, so I was looking over here and all this stuff and I found a hair, two hairbrushes and they've both have been used. There's hair in there, which is... That's like a store foul. You don't use the brush, it's display. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, so we're going on a cruise in seven days and we have two bottle, two bottles of wine that we're gonna need to open. So we have to get a wine opener because we don't normally drink wine. So stay tuned for that one. The good thing about walking through places like this is you see so many cool things and you're like, man, that's cool and that's cool. But the reality then smacks you upside the head and you go, we live in an RV and we can't get any of that. I think my favorite thing now is going to Home Goods and Target and I don't leave there spending $500 to $1,000 on stuff I really didn't need in the first place because I know now we just don't have room for it. Okay, so right behind us is the thing that we came for. It's this table right here. Now we would get it in white, but it's this version. So it's not as wide as that one and it has two leaves this one comes up and it's super easy you just pull this guy out and it sits on top of that huge bonus is it has all of these drawers that pull out and our friend showed us theirs last night and it was really cool because there's three drawers on each side which actually have a good amount of space in them and the best part of all for RV life is when you do want to collapse it this goes down you're not gonna believe this this side goes down and this is the floor space it will take up. So you can either minimize it to have very, take up little space, or you can pull out both leaves and have friends over, have a huge dinner, and uh, pretty awesome. I know we're over at Ikea right now, but I wanna share with you a resource that we found that specializes in RVs called RecPro. They have over 3,000 products, including couches, awnings, chairs, dinettes, and what I love, it's made just for RVs. Keeping this truck and RV looking brand new is really important to us, and I found five products on RecPro that I'm gonna share with you on how we get the job done. All right, the first product that we have here is called Wash and Wax. And why I really like this is because a lot of RV parks will not let you wash your RV out here unless you have a professional pressure washer, and that's just too much stuff to carry around. With this, all you do is spray it on, give it a nice little wipe, and it gets off all the road grime and pollen and the loose dirt that's on your vehicle. All right, step number two is the ceramic wax. We have the truck and the RV ceramic coated, so why not throw on a little ceramic wax? This is great for UV protection and gives it that really glossy shine. All right, step number three is to condition your rubber seals. And something we never did in our old RV is lube up the seals right here. An RVer's worst nightmare is to have water inside from cracked seals, so you definitely wanna make sure you keep these lubricated. Now we do have three kids and a dog, and these couches get worked out. So I like to keep them clean and stay on top of it. And I have a two-step system that I use for this. One is the interior cleaner, and the other one's the leather care, which keeps it nice and soft. It's pretty simple. You just spray it on, clean it off, and then go right back in with the leather care and wipe it off. And I have been using this now for a while and I love the way it's been working. RecPro has a huge line of products, amazing customer service, fast shipping times, and thousands of happy customers. All right, let's get back over to Ikea and see if they got this table in stock. Crossing fingers. All right, so something else that we're gonna need is chairs. And so we're looking at stools, but we're trying to think, okay, what's practical? I love the stackable idea. I like this one because it's like a cool, like wooden one, old fashioned. Like a and bench, then it, yeah. yeah, and then it has um, storage underneath here. Do we get high back chairs and stools? Because there's five of us, but do we want to get a couple of extra? I'm not sure. All right, we made our way through the maze. We're going to skip all the nonsense and just get straight to the warehouse. So let's go. Oh, she's surfing. No, please don't. don't, don't. Uh oh. Is this like being a kid again? Whee! Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Ready? Ha <laughs> ha! You won! 
I'm not getting in trouble from Ikea, uh-uh. Those little youngins are trying to <laughs> challenge me. <laughs> I still got it, I think I still got it. All right, so why does this always happen when we come to Ikea? It's the darn thing it looks like it's out. And I feel like when we were here the other day, they had them. You need one and two, but there's one that's white. Let me see what the number is. Okay, so, yay, they have it. All right, you know, so usually our luck sometimes is uh, they don't have it and we get all excited. And then we go to the customer service and say, hey, any chance you have them in the back? And then it's like closing time and then it just like, bleh. So, they have them. Okay guys, watch this. Ow, that hurt my arm so, oh my God. <gasps> oh wait, this things look heavy. Is this a two person lift? Let's see, I've been working out a lot lately. We got a cruise to go on, so I might be okay. How much are these things? $370 each. All right, one and two. There we go. Uh, yeah. Let me get the next one. Yep, we got one, two, one, two. Make sure they're both white. Made in Lithuania. Yes, but I think we're good. All righty, we got them both here. These carts are so funny. Let's go find some stools now so we have somewhere to sit. I think she said she was on aisle 35. Sandy, where are you? Just look for the pink mohawk. Did you guys find it? Well, our luck ran out. <laughs> the stools that we wanted were these black wood stools, and it doesn't even seem like they have them anymore. I don't know if they're out of stock or they just stopped making them. So the only other black option is these little stools right here. They're cheap, they're plastic, but they're only $4.99, so we can get five of them right now, check it out, see if we want stools or chairs. Sky, do you give the $5 stools thumbs up or thumbs down? Half, half, kind of. I don't know because I really like the wood ones because they were like super cool and stuff, but I don't know about these. Why does it always feel like it's like 10 o'clock at night when you're in a store? We're gonna go outside, <laughs> it's gonna be dark. <laughs> Something about these Ikea carts, I'm telling you. They spin you every different direction and uh, pretty much everybody's walking sideways through uh, Ikea. Maybe it's to get you to look around and see more stuff. So how do we get out of here? I don't even know which way we're going anymore. That way. Clearance, clearance. <laughs> Oh no, man down. This is gonna be my second workout of the day. Just trying to push this cart with a kid on it through the- It's like a big core workout. Yeah, it's all abs. This thing's, whole thing's abs right here, so. All right, no trip to Ike Ikea is complete without some yogurt. And I have to say that it is tasting extra delicious today. And I'm gonna need it all the way to the truck that's parked about a mile away. So we got six veggie dogs when we got to Ikea today. And on the way out, look at what we found. Lo and behold, the veggie dog and the little fried onions, but they did not have the red cabbage sauce. So I don't know what we're gonna do for that. I'm not a big chef, but <laughs> we might have to skip it. But uh, I'm gonna let you know how these taste because I've been really curious to try them. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're taking a break from our regularly scheduled programming here. It's just to uh, check in and see what you guys think about this new camera. We just got this Osmo Pocket 3 and it's got the little lab that hooks onto your neck right here. I'm, I used to always shy away from anything that you could see the mic, but I think in this day and age, nobody even cares anymore. So we're rocking the mics on the collar right now. The Osmo's got a built-in stabilizer, 4K. We're eating some ice cream out here. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Osmo Pocket 3. All right, here's the beast right here. We're gonna head over to the front, pick up Sandy, because I don't want to drive the car all the way over here. All right, let's see if all this stuff will fit in the truck. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. I've got to do some reorganization here to get everything in. Got, got the kneecap on that one. Yep, got my, got my kneecap right on the step. We'll just keep on, we'll just keep on smiling like it didn't happen. Yeah, pool noodle. We need, we need a pool noodle on the stairs for sure. Two. I think we got parked in a weird spot here, huh? Let's put on the tailgate. There we go. Flex it up, Sky. Let's see what you got. Big ones. Up above. Up above. There it is. There's a the big shot. Sandy just asked, "What way is the gun show?" That way. Let's get on out of here. Got about an hour drive home. We don't talk about fast edit. Oh, no. All right, well, we made it home. I don't know why that seemed like it took absolutely forever. <laughs> but we're home. I think now the question is, are we going to assemble it tonight? I don't know about that. How are you feeling, Jimmy? I don't know. Oh, lightning. All right, I don't know if I feel like putting this thing together tonight. I'm kind of wiped out. I just want to relax, make some I dinner. At 630. At 6.30, you know, I know, but I mean, you're talking about taking out furniture and putting stuff back yeah, in. So. Oh boy, Roxy, hey, Roxy. <laughs> All right, so we got two tables, Sandy. Where are they going? So two tables. One is gonna go here. We're gonna take out the recliner 
give it away, put the table. And then what I love about that table is it's collapsible to literally, it would either be this way or this way. And we have all this extra space open or you put up one side, put up both sides, turn it this way. And then if we have company over for dinner, we have a full on extra seating. The other one would be going back here and we'll take out this desk and then that we can put up the one side and then the kids can all do their schoolwork there. They can play games or even like with the other one, extend it fully this way. If we have kids over, they wanna go play games. The options are endless right now because it's just gonna open up more seating. Come on, Jimmy, let's do one tonight. Come on. I know it's a lot of pieces. <laughs> So our friends Vicky and Jason with Create Your Best Life today, they have a momentum and they have two of these in their momentum and that's where we got this idea from. And they said it takes about three hours to put together one. But I don't think I wanna work on putting any of these together tonight. Just wanna relax. Come on, Enjoy Jay. some nighttime with my family and uh, clean, up this place. clean up a little bit. We've been gone for a couple There's a rumor going around that this takes about three hours to put together, so I'm definitely not looking forward to this. Do you guys wanna see three oh. hours of time lapse? Do a challenge. <laughs> three hours. Ah, oh, challenge. Can I get it done under three hours? I'm not feeling very motivated here, guys. Oh, oh, Sandy wants me to get up. Ryder, should we do it? No. I think we'll switch to a time lapse. I love building stuff. It's like a big Lego. I'm gonna say two hours. It's gonna take an hour 30 to two hours. A thousand hours. A thousand hours? Wow, nice job, right? How you doing? How many? Four. Four drawers? There's two done right there. All right. Oh Roxy gosh. is in the middle here wanting to play. <laughs> I gotta say, this is moving along a lot faster than I thought. It is. Yeah, yeah. feeling good about it? I, I'm feeling really good. I think we might, I don't know, less than an hour maybe. Oh, I don't know. Cool. I think it's gonna take four hours. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> right. That's, that's what I did the first time too, and I was like, oh crap, don't let daddy see. <laughs> All right, Sky. it looks like what? Three last screws. The three last screws. Let's see you put them in here real quick. Now let's turn it over. <laughs> How long did it take you to get the drawers done? 35 minutes. All right, we're sitting in about an hour and six minutes right now. We still gotta flip it over and put it in the drawers, but wow, a lot faster than I thought. Nice yeah. job, Team Phelan. All right, Sky. push a couple in, Ryder, push a couple in. Oh, we got some Woo! winners, here we go. The One, last two, drawer three. over here, they all fit. Oh, all right, fit. somebody yeah. stop the timer, quick, stop, stop the timer. Stop the timer. timer. Next has oh. got it right here, show me the camera. <laughs> And stop. What is oh, it? Oh, under 1.15. An hour 14, which means I was the closest to the time. All right, hour 14. High five. High five, guys. All right, here goes the finale. Now we're gonna pull it out and see how it looks. Whoa, look at that. Looks like we can still keep the recliner over here. What do you guys say? <laughs> There's still room for the recliner. Sandy, how are you? I love it so much. Ryder. I've been Good. missing All a right, table. All right, Ryder's tired. Sky, ah. what do you think? I love it. Nixie. Keep the recliner. Keep the recliner. No. All right, guys, there's one built. Now we're gonna enjoy it for a little bit, eat some dinner, and uh, maybe we'll build a second one. We're not building a second one tonight. What do we got going on over here, Sandy? Well, uh, we tried What's something What's a day, new. Day, day in the life of an uh, RVer look like? Well, you know, we tested out this uh, veggie mix from Costco. That looks pretty good. It's our first time using it, and it definitely needs some, uh, some seasoning. Some juice or something? Yeah. Well, we just took the screws out to the recliners. I think Jimmy's getting a little nervous. He's like, oh, I don't know about this. But we're gonna test it out and we're gonna put that in place and see. <laughs> Are we ready to move it up, babe? Now, the one thing though, is we didn't measure the size of the recliners to get them out the door. We don't know if they put the recliners in before the slides went in. I don't know how it went. So that will be situation number two. All right, so we gotta unplug the recliner now, take all the junk out from back there, and uh, we're gonna pull it forward. And the moment of truth will be putting that table in this spot and see how it truly looks. Okay, so we're about to move the couch to right here. It's, gonna, it's bending in half. Dang, Bob, you strong. What about me? Oh, that Okay, Daddy, help me. Help me. It looks like Roxy found a bunch of chips down here because she's eating everything oh. underneath the... Uh, Roxy, what are you doing? Why are you eating everything? Should we not show this on our video? Yeah. Do we want to pretend like we're clean and fresh? And... 
I'm still not 100% sold on the idea of getting rid of two giant seating arrangements right here, two giant seats. So the difference is with doing this is it not just takes out two seats and puts a little table, it opens up meal time where we now can sit down and eat with the kids. We have places to do schoolwork and I can work there. Because I always sat at the kitchen table in our old RV and now I have nowhere to sit. Jimmy has uh, taken over the desk in the bedroom and the kids don't have anywhere to sit and do schoolwork and whatever. So, so I think it's new. We're trying something new right now. And I think Jimmy's feeling a little weird. Jimmy's in a stretch zone. He's stretching and he's not sure if he likes it. I know it feels different because we had the recliners. What'd you say? You love it, right? Oh, Sky loves it. But I think that a table is a very, very important thing for a family. Keep the zesty couch. I do not like the new table because realistically only two people can fit on these couches comfortably. Comfortable. <laughs> and what happens if we have friends over? Like to watch a movie, like that eight person movie night that you posted on your thing. Everybody was sitting at a couch. I love it. I don't care. I want it. A table. So I think this is a really good idea. So the vote right now is two to three against the table. And Roxy loves the table. So she hates it. She, she loves the table. Oh, what would <laughs> So Roxy loves going up on the recliner to look out the windows, this window and this window, to see where everybody's at. Yeah, she hop on the and table. now she's gonna be a little mad because she'll just have to do the hallway. Here we are a few days later, and I have to say, I am thoroughly impressed with these tables. We were on the fence, we had got the second table, we're on the fence if we were actually going to use it for back here, and here you are. I, I can't say enough about the versatility and how convertible these pieces of furniture are from Ikea, this table in particular, is because you can have it minimized down to as small as this. And in a, you know, in RV life, a space is very valuable. And so to think that you can have this turn into a huge table or close down to something as small as this is insane. So here we are, the bedroom, table number two, and we're gonna show you a few different ways that you can use it. All right, so for number one, we have it down to 10 inches wide. Check out number two. So we could flip up one side of the table and actually all three kids can sit here and do some schoolwork on their iPads or whatever or read on it. But you know what? The coolest part is check out number three. Now this right here is what completely sold us on this table, which was already awesome, is that it actually folds up, both sides fold up into seating for six. We can do family game nights. The kids can have their friends over. I mean, literally you could build huge puzzles on here. Things that we couldn't do before in the garage, in the kids room. Let's go check out the other one in the living room because that's kind of like, my favorite space of all. Let's go. All right, here we go. Look at this. Now, I can't tell you how much it opens the space. I mean, if you saw before, the two recliners. We love those too. But what we saw was we really needed a place to, for me to work, for Jimmy to work, and to eat dinners and all the meals of the day. So here is number one. The space just is completely open. It's bright. We have our pink curtains up. So you tell me in the comments, what do you think? Does this brighten up the whole... Jump, Jimmy. <laughs> Cameraman foul. Does this brighten up the whole area? Cause I absolutely love it. Let's check out look number two. All right, Jimmy, get your butt over here so we can get to work. This is the second way that we have it set up. And I love it because I'm not in a dark room kind of person working on the laptop. I love it to be bright and airy and open. And so this table provides all of that. And we get to sit across from each other and talk. The coolest one is number three again. So check this out. And here we are, it's the final way that you can set this table up, putting both sides up, and you can see how many people can sit at this table. Whether it's having people over for dinner, or playing games, whatever it may be, a little conference board meeting, I don't know. But let's hear from you guys. What do you guys think of the table? I love it so much. It's so cool, so everyone can sit down and have dinner, and then do schoolwork and work and stuff. All right, Nixie? I'd rather the couches couch. Oh, I like it. I like the fact that everybody can sit and have a meal together, but I do miss the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I like the table. Hey, Me too! High five, Grandpa! High five. All right, so I was really on the fence at first. I really love the couch. We bought this floor plan because of the couch, but after having it in here for a day or two and really utilizing the table, I think I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to vote for the table. Yeah! <laughs> right, you want to come over to the dark side? No. <laughs> All right, guys, we ripped out our couch. We threw in two new tables, got rid of a desk, and I can say we definitely 
Try something new! So get out there and try something new. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. Done! Okay, I want to show Grandma how to play Gaga Ball.